Barumbi and Pidingisa, the Batamau and Mobile Money, the Bamu Bane Sente, the Badi Huya Masaka Wingu, one Naka Bi one Mayawa. Well, good morning. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And of course, it's a new week, and I am back to keep you posted on what is happening in the country. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also make sure that you tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> So you guys, yesterday I told you about the Bijambia gang. Yes, the Bijambia gang, I told you that it is back and they have started attacking people and killing people in different parts of Kampala. Now, last night, this gang attacked two people in a place called Maya. And as I speak right now, their condition is so worrying in hospital where they admitted. <laughs> one of the people that were attacked one week ago by this gang in Chengera has died. Yes, that is the latest news. One of the people that was attacked by these people uh, one week ago has died. It should actually be remembered that in a period of one week, we have now lost two people. Others are in different hospitals, nursing serious injuries. <laughs> Uh, we don't know what police is going to tell us this time around because what happened in Masaka last year, police said it was political and that's why we did see the likes of Segirinya Muhammad and Alan Sewanyan arrested. But let's hope that this time around they are not going to tell us that this is about politics. <music> Well, in other news, the news of poisoning the former Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya, is still a big talk in Kampala. Now, Gilbert Olanya, this one is a member of Parliament for Kilak South, says President Museveni shouldn't pretend as if he didn't know that Jacob Olanya was poisoned. He says all these are his games he uses to confuse Ugandans. No one should divert our attention. Jacob Olanya, the father said he was poisoned. President Yuri Museveni, on the 4th of August, Observer newspaper quoted, Museveni say he wants to probe the poisoning of the right honorable Olanya. Yesterday, the vice chairperson, Buganda region, Subi Kiwanda, he said Olanya told him he was poisoned. Therefore, as a country, we are aware that our brother, the right honorable Jacob Olanya, was poisoned. Government should come out clearly, investigate, and tell us who poisoned our brother. No one should divert anybody's attention. The thing of tribal thing, those are all useless and diversionary. We need to investigate and know who killed our brother. That is full stop. Now, Gilbert Olanya also says that this whole talk of tribalism that's going on in the country, President Museveni and his cronies are just trying to divert the country. And he says, let's not be diverted, ladies and gentlemen. They are trying their level best to divide Uganda along the tribal line. Right now, the state has sponsored very many people to continuously fill the hearts of our people with that sense of hatred by saying Bagandas demonstrated against Olanya. The Bagandas, they actually will never support a Baganda. I think that is total nonsense. Uganda must not be divided. They are aware that given a time, Northern Uganda, United Central Uganda, Eastern Uganda, and some part of Western Uganda, they are finished. So that is divide and rule. We need to fight that seriously as leaders. As one of the leaders from a Cholisap region, we welcome Noob 
and is mostly welcome and we pray for the good lord to help the young party take over the leadership of this country yeah so that is the member of parliament from kilak south gilbert olanya well, in other news, the Archbishop of Kampala, Paul Semogerere, has called upon President Museveni and his government to release all the political prisoners that are still in detention centers around the country that were arrested during the 2021 general elections. <laughs> Now, the Archbishop also talked about the exodus of youths to the outside countries. He warned them that there is nothing much in those countries they are traveling to, but they should rather stay and find what to do right here in the country. <laughs> Now, Paul Semogerere also commented about the injustice happening in this country, but the offenders are left free. Yeah, so that is the latest news I have for you on the BuzzUG and uh, you can put your comment right there in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the BuzzUG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.